Hey guys, RC here, back with another season at Minnesota FC down in Venezuela. This is our South American journeyman. We're playing Football Manager 19, and I have just concluded the off season. Is it just me or is the off season in the, in this game? <sighs> Long. <laughs> uh, Minnesota de Guyana, two uh, two draw. They are our parent club, not our parent club, our uh, affiliate club. Uh, we got goals from Ignacio Trevino, Luis Correa, and then gave up two late goals. I guess they didn't want to lose and put some starters in. Uh, let's take a quick look. Um, I was going to... I was going to turn on the settings where I took control back for scouting contracts and I went you know I still don't think I'm at the stage yet because sometimes with these really low level leagues I have a hard time I struggle um, so anyway um, what I, I, I did actually change it I put a couple of guys on the block we had bids come in for freeze so you know we ended up taking the freeze just to get the salaries off the books and then the players rejected it and i was like wait what <laughs> i was like i don't understand so i just turned it back on and i'm gonna let the director of football handle it until i'm at a point where i feel a little better i mean i've played the game for a long time but just sometimes the the finances just are greek to me and you know i can't I can't find players. I can't get players. I can, you know, other teams are signing players for, you know, a hundred bucks a week. And my guys want $6,000 a week or, you know, whatever the case may be just makes no sense. Um, so I said, yeah, I'm just going to let the director of football handle it. So real quick, uh, this is our opening stage. So let's take a look at uh, the groups. We did get drawn in uh, group C so up top we have uh, Falcon, Liberty, Margarita. Oh, that sounds like a good, cl fun club to be at. Titans, uh, Central Venezuela, Uruguayanos, Deportivo. That makes up Group A. Aragua, uh, Araceros, Chico de Guyana, which is our affiliate club. Gran Valencia, Hermanos, Portuguesa FC, and ULA are Group B. Angostura, Lala, who crushed us last year in the second phase. Minnesoro, our, oh, that's us. Real Frontera, Toscanas de Amazonas, and Urena. That is Group C. Don't know much about any of those teams. I know Lala really crushed us last year. Uh, Liberty up in Group A, so that's kind of good. Let's take a look at our finances. We are paying 347 with our 434 payroll. We have not spent any transfer budget. Uh, I did go with a smaller scouting budget for, instead of young players, we're looking for veteran players through Venezuela and uh, Chile. And let's look at the transfers. So uh, we actually sold a play, two players for $650, and then we brought in some players. So here's our outgoing. Uh, David Moreno uh, was going last season. Ours was Alfred Moreno, Richard Marquez. Uh, Bogmare uh, went late in the season. We moved him right at the end of the season. Those all, guys all went out on freeze. Then when we got into this transfer window, uh, we, we moved uh, Darren Andrade for $400 to Baralt. He was our right back, and he actually played seven games for us. And then 25 games in the league the year before, but uh, I was look, he was one of the guys that I put on on uh, the market, and uh, then had the director of football sell uh, once once uh, he took back over. Uh, Romeri Villay uh, went out on loan. He's one of our young players. He is listed, uh, transfer listed. Uh, I listed quite a few players that I didn't think were ever going to be good enough, and honestly developing young players at this level non-existent because you've got such crappy facilities so he's out on loan to san felix paulo barcelo he went out on a free to lopez hernandez barcelo was one of our key guys in the in the coming up year uh he played 11 games of 7.4 
12 matches, a 6.79 this year. Just wasn't quite good enough, but seemed every time he played, especially that first year, that he just did a great job, right? Uh, Jose Marquez goes to Porceras on loan. Juan Schoenwolf, we were able to get his salary off the books, goes to Atletico Los Andes uh, for $250. Uh, Darwin Copeland goes on a free. Copeland was another one of those central midfielders. Um, played a fair amount, 13 games, and then uh, eight starts with two relief appearances last season. Again, that was just looking to get some salary off the books. And Alarcon, we had a young keeper that came in as part of our uh, class this year, as part of our uh, youth intake. And Alarcon was our keeper the first year that we got promoted and won the tr won the silverware, but uh, lost his job to uh, lost his job to Vogmer when he came in. So he goes off on a free, uh, and, you know, again, we get his salary off the books. So then all of these guys are people that our director of football brought in starting uh, on the 23rd. Jefferson Rodriguez comes in on a free uh, central mid, defensive mid. He's got some pace, acceleration. He can mark. He can tackle really well. He's got decent mentals, so we'll see how he goes. Uh, and I have not looked at any of these players because I like to look, you know, when I have the director of football do it, I like you guys to kind of see the unveiling. Uh, we brought in another player from Socopo. We brought in a couple last year, Marco Bustillo. Uh, he's a striker, 23 years old, uh, three, two and a half star potential, four and a half star or current ability, four and a half star potential. He's got pace, acceleration, solid finishing, first touch, heading. He's 5'9". He can only jump with a four. So, you know, if we kick it on the ground, he'll dive for it and head it into the goal. Uh, that's great. Good technique. He can play poacher, target man. You know, so he can play a lot of those positions. Not the false nine that I play a lot. Uh, Nelson Reyna comes in on a free as a free agent. He is a right back, 25 years old, three-star uh, current, four-star potential. Uh, pace, acceleration. Uh, he's got solid technicals for this level so looks like uh, that'll address our right back of course getting rid of andrade uh and that was what I, we talked about that was going to be a position of need uh joseph frank bermudez comes in also on a free he's a midfielder defensive mid not quite as pacey good acceleration passing so he's kind of a playmaker guy uh defensive mid playmaker Kind of like kind of like that role for him. And we'll see how he works out. Cesar Serrano. Serrano. That was Pedro Serrano, right? Do we change it? Let's take a look at him first. 25 years old. He is a midfielder. Uh, he is very slow, so he can't hit the curve. <laughs> His technicals are pretty decent. His mentals are really solid. Decision-making work rate i've never actually changed oh here we go we're going to name him pedro serrano and uh, then julio polanco these guys all came in at the trade deadline all four of these guys uh julio polanco comes in from university uh he is a left back midfielder acceleration pace like that Passing is pretty solid, so another another ball-winning midfielder, playmaker-type position. He can play the anchor, so I like that. And then uh, we got Aloni in at the last minute, and Jose Gallo comes in from Truleros. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Trulianos? Trul I don't know. Anyway, from the true team, uh, three and a half, five. Uh, he is a center back, 6'2", jumping reaches out of the building, but not very good. Marking, tackling are okay, not very pacey, but still some, soli some solidity in the central mid. So today we are playing our opener against Lala. Uh, we're probably just going to do the one match. We'll see what the time looks like. Uh, we're at home. We're underdogs um let's take a look because one of the things that i also did i wanted to try something 
a little different this season. So, you know, I'm not real big on tactics. Don't understand them very well. I mean, I do understand them. I know the game very well. Um, I was actually a FIFA licensed official uh, for, for many years, uh, but not at the international level or anything, you know, uh, up to the university level in America. Um, but I came up with, uh, what I did is I went into the presets that the game has. So I pulled this one out as a more attacking style. This one was kind of a little more defensive with two up top and more defensive with one up top. So I think we're going to play this one a lot this season just because we're underdogs. We're going to give that one a shot if we are maybe favored. Um, actually, we're pretty accomplished at that. Yeah, we've actually picked these up fairly well. Not that one. But these two we picked up fairly well. I just think we're, you know, I think you're better off. Um, actually, this is one that, that is not, this is a loaded tactic, uh, an older tactic that I brought back. That's one. This is one from the custom base here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to play around with these. Just some new tactics. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. So let's go ahead and quick pick using, well, pick without restrictions. Now, Mazella, Mazella, inside winger. Karazalanis, left only. So if he's going to be an inside winger, shouldn't we reverse those guys? Because inside wingers cut inside, so he would be coming across the goal using his right foot. He'd be coming across to use his left, and that's where they want to be. All right, so let's go ahead and set them up for some development. Uh, we are going to put him midfielder left, inverted winger attack. And then we'll do the same thing for him here on the right. Midfield right, inverted winger, attack. He's playing more of a natural. We want him as a central mid. Mazella. Was it attack? I don't remember. Let's see. Yep, both attack. And these guys look okay. All right, so we've got two ball playing defenders, wing backs, our keeper. Uh, that puts Hernandez on the bench. Okay. Valenzuela's back as our starter in goal. That works. Bartasina, Correa. Lunar up top. All right, let's get to it. Match fitness is always shit because we only have the one friendly. I don't know why we can't do more friendlies. It's got to be something with the database. All right, encourage the team. Let's give them the, the first game of the season faith talk. Uh, nobody seemed to care. All right, we are in the black kits. All right, some nice ball movement. Arujo lays it off to the overlapping fullback. Oh, Pedro Serrano. Oh, he tries to go for goal from way out there. Corona oversteps the tackle attempt. And Rivero gets the tackle, knocking it out, letting us get back on defense. Good job. All right. Throw in. Reyna. Carrizales. Oh, he lumps it to Lunar. There's a nice ball. Oh, what a tackle to knock it out of bounds for the corner. I thought Lunar would have scored that one in the first season. He's a little, little slow now, I think. 
all the people it goes right to their guy figures we've got good possession we've got the two shots neither one on target but still a half chance and a long shot Castro picks up a yellow for their side Uh, Silva is injured for them. That's their striker. So we took out one of their star players, potentially. Uh, league table. Let's go with that. Nothing? All right. Cool. All right, not much in the way. Lala's picked up two shots on target. So a couple of saves. They pick up another yellow. Reyna's playing a 7-3. Reyna to Lunar. Into Carrizales. Oh, out to Trevito. Oh, no. Oh, man. We had two guys with shots there. Ah. All right. Let's come on. Get it into play. Oh, what a shot by Rivero. Right place, right time. First goal of the season. Polanco with the assist. And we're going to take a 1-0 lead into the locker room. I will take that. Hopefully the second half will be an improvement. That's pretty hilarious. Uh, that changed again. I'm pretty sure I put the league table in there, but... Oh, that was on the other screen. All right, encourage the team. We got a goal from our center back. Assist from our winger. Everybody's playing pretty well. Lunar's motivated. Good for him. Julio Lugo played for the Astros. All right, headed up to Arujo. All right, we're up to six shots on goal. All right, Rivero picks up a yellow. So the suspension watch has, has started. Anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, don't forget, I did ask you uh, last episode right at the end, if you didn't see that. Uh, let me know what you guys... Oh, set piece. No. Whew, wide. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you would want me to go to daily content on FM and what that would entail. Let me make some subs here. Uh, Rivero. Let's bring in Salazar. Our keeper got a yellow card. Nice. Got to like that. Uh, I'm going to bring in Correa. For Lunar. So what that would entail is basically we would still only have one save, the journeyman. And I would go to daily content five, possibly six days. Uh, so you would pick up two or three extra episodes a week. Uh, and what it would entail would be dropping one of my secondary series. All right, just off the mark. Um, and I would do that other series as like, say, a live stream or, you know, whatever. Um, so I would basically do two YouTube series instead of three at a time. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'm, I'm thinking about it. No guarantees. All right. Correa's off to a decent start. Carrizales. Let's bring on Jorman Vasquez. Let's give him some praise. Trevino into Bermudez. Trevino lumps it. Correa. Thought Correa was going to get all antsy on that ball. Well, there's a good lump out. Oh, he beats the left back. 
Oh my god, what the hell was that? Valenzuela, how did you not save that? He knocked it down, pushed it right back to him, but they had three guys unmarked. What the hell? First off, that was horrific, Trevino. And then Salazar, there's my center back. There's my midfield. And we got one guy not guarding any of the three guys on his half. Valenzuela with a great one-on-one -on -one save. And the, <laughs> I don't know. My guy would have killed himself trying to pull that. Oh, my God. All right, push forward. No, don't lose it now. Gee whiz. Into the wall. All right, he plays it all the way back to the keeper. Oh, this is a chance. Now, get it and lump it over his head. <laughs> Come on, boys. Uh, Rojo unmarked. Oh, nice run over there by Polanco to knock it out of play. Four minutes of stoppage time. Controlled by Polanco. Laid back and then lumped out. All right. Another corner. Headed over the inline. line. Another corner. All right. Push out. Push out. Oh, that was a nice header. Gee whiz. Nice header by their guy out to the winger. Come on. All right, Lugo gets control. Castro. Oh, good first touch. Oh, Valenzuela. You got to hold on to that ball, man. All right, he lumps it to their team. Arujo controls it, drops it back to Trevilo, Trevino, Bermudez. He kicks it right to Lugo on the other team. Bermudez, oh, beautiful through ball. Vasquez on the run. The cross, nobody's there. Correa. Correa's not there. Vasquez off to Reyna. Bermudez. Oh, nice little one-touch ball. Too close to the keeper. Again, no run by our striker. Oh, nice ball over the top. Beats our defense. Oh, just, yeah, he clears it up into the back row of the stands. Awesome. The mandatory uh, football barbecue out there. Uh-oh. Well, he wasn't carded. Oh, into the wall. Trevino. I'm going to be pretty happy with a draw here. Yeah, I think so. Stat-wise, they ended up taking advantage of us. 10-6, to 4-1 to on target. They had one clear cut. We had two half chances. Probably should have done a little bit better, but yeah, let's sympathize with them. Because we let that one get away. We let two points walk off the pitch there. Uh, we're at 24 minutes, so yeah, I don't think we'll have enough time to get uh, a second match in here. Uh, Reyna makes his debut. And where do we come back? This is the dilemma. So we have to remember now that I'm in another season that we have a closing stage, playoffs, maybe. So let's come back for, I mean, we want to get to know the team. So let's come back for the, ooh, wow, three away matches in a row. Let's come back for Frontera and Angostura. That'll give me a couple of matches and then we'll have another early game. And then maybe we come back for Urena. I don't know. Maybe, well, Tuscan, Urena and Frontera. 
Now, I think we'd come back for Frontera and Angostura, so we don't want to come back there. We just did Lala. Hmm. Frontera, Angostura. I tell you what, we'll just come back for the next two matches against Tacanis and Urena. And uh, then we'll probably just go to the end of the first stage here. Because, yeah, either that or we're going to see Lala again. Although that wouldn't be the worst. Tell you what, let's come back for Lala Takanis. And then Frontera Angostura. That way we see Lala twice. And I think they're one of the better clubs. Uh, do we have an idea? No. Um, all groups. Damn it. All groups. No, it doesn't tell us where we're projected to finish. All right, so anyway. Let me make sure. I, so we're, we'll come back for Lala Toscani's and then Frontera Angostura. So I'll have a couple of matches off camera. We'll see you guys next episode. Hit that like button if you don't mind. Subscribe if you're new. See you guys around. Have a good one. Bye.